Yeah. Hello and how are you? Hey friends, welcome to the Shen Show. I am your host, Shenandoah Briscoe, coming to you from right here in St. Charles, Missouri. Hey, you know what? This is Thursday, November the 15th, 2018, V-Blog number 2456. Alright, I got a happy birthday shout out going out to Mark Stoltz, Melissa Woods, Jeff Briggle, um, and Jeff Briegel. There you go. Uh, so here we go. Without further ado, here are a birthday song for the three of you. Hey, I heard it's your birthday today. So happy birthday, I'ma say. Hey, you know, Mark, Melissa, and Jeff, uh, you were starting a brand new year today. So happy birthday to you today. I said, hey, I heard it's your birthday today. So happy birthday, I'ma say. You know you're starting a brand new year today, so happy birthday to you today and many more. Cha cha cha. Cha 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 cha. Alright, alright, I got Also, you know what? I got a Facebook for anniversary. Going out to Megan Nicole Holstetter or Holstetler. Holstetler. Yeah, that. All right, Megan Nicole Holstetler. Holstetler. I'm sure you'll get back to me on how to pronounce that. Anywho, um, happy for anniversary to you. All right, that being said, let's see. How about uh, let's get into the local weather because, well, you know what? It's been snowing all day long. Lots of snow. Of course, of course, uh, tonight it's going to be mostly clear, though, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, lows and uh, flurries or snow showers possibly early. Uh, mostly clear, low, 29 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds west to southwest at uh, 5 to 10 miles per hour. So that's okay with that. And then uh, tomorrow going to be sunny uh sunrise around 6 45 a.m sunset around 4 47 p.m and moon ri- moonrise at 1 39 p.m sunny skies high around 45 winds west at 5 to 10 miles per hour uh friday night mostly clear 29 miles per hour 10 percent percent uh Chance of precipitation precipitation winds south uh, uh southeast at four miles per hour. Few clouds overnight. Low ninety, uh, low twenty nine degrees. Winds are light and variable. And how about Saturday? Saturday we're going to have partly cloudy skies in the morning. It will give away to cloudy skies during the afternoon. Highs near 45. Winds southwest at approximately 10 miles per hour. Uh, winds shifting to northwest at a 10 to 15 mile per hour, per hour uh, speed. So we have to watch out for that. Winds shifting directions. Uh, Saturday night, we're going to have cloudy skies, temperatures of uh, 29 degrees, a shower of rain or wet snow possible late uh, late in the evening, nighttime, and low 29 degrees, winds north at 5 to 10 miles per hour. How about Sunday? That's right, Sunday. A.M. snow showers, that's right, snow showers, scattered snow showers during the morning, then partly to mostly cloudy for the afternoon, high around 35, winds north to northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour, chances of snow, 30%. Sunday night, mostly clear skies, uh, low 22 degrees Fahrenheit, winds light and variable. Monday, ooh, Monday, the big one, hot day. Sunday, uh, sunny skies, highs around 42 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. 
Uh, and in Monday night, clear, uh, clear skies, low 26 degrees, wind slight and variable. Speeds up to 5 miles per hour. And then Tuesday. Tuesday is a mostly cloudy skies. I'm sorry, mostly sunny skies. Along with a few clouds, highs around 42, winds northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Mostly clear skies in the evening until the nighttime. Uh, mainly clear, low 26 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds light and variable. Speeds at about 4 miles per hour. All right, and that ought to do it. Let's see about some uh, songs. How about um, how about autumn leaves? We'll try that one. It's sort of a fall song. The falling leaves drift by my window. The falling leaves of red and gold. I see your lips. The summer kisses, the sunburned hands I used to hold. Since you went away, the days grow long. So now hear old winter's song. But I miss you most of all, my darling, when autumn leaves start to fall. Since you went away, the days grow long, and soon I'll hear winter's song, but I miss you most of all, my darling, when autumn leaves start to fall. I miss you most of all, my darling, when autumn leaves start to fall. All right, all right. How about uh, cool water, uh, or just water, or maybe it's called water or cool water? Yes, it's called cool water. All day I face the barren waste without a taste of water. Cool, cool water. Old Dan and I, our throats lay dry, our spirits cry out for water, cool, clear water. Keep on moving, Dan, some devils have a plan, buried poison in the sand, don't drink it, man, it's in the water. Cool, clear water. In my mind I see the big green tree, a river flowing free, waiting up ahead for you and me. Cool water, cool, clear water. Water, water. The nights are cool, and I'm a fool. Each star is a pool of water. Cool, cool water. But come the dawn, we carry on. We won't last that long without water. Cool, clear water. Keep on moving, Dan, we're still in no man's land. 
Dry bones and sand, people never planned here for water. Cool, clear water. In my mind I see the big green tree, a river flowing free, waiting up ahead for you and me. And cool, clear water. The shadows sway, they seem to say, Tonight we pray for water, cool, cool water. And away up there, if you could care, please show us where there's good water, cool, clear water, water, water. How about Marty Robbins' water? Song lyrics, Water, Marty Robbins. That's the same. I think it's the same. Could be. Yeah, it's pretty much the same. But speaking of wanting that water, how to get that water? You know how to get that water? You have to be thankful when you're getting that water. And we'll get it the same way we got it yesterday. Or was it yesterday? Could have been the day before yesterday, but it's one of my favorite songs, so we'll go ahead and give it to you anyway. Song lyrics, prime the pump. There you go. Yeah, this one's one of my favorites. It's uh, called Desert Peat, and it's by the Kingston Trio. And I like to do it anyway, either way, just because, well, it's a thankful song. I thank the Lord, and I thank that pump, and I thank old Desert Pete. Well, I was traveling west of Buckskin on my way to a cattle run, crossed a little cactus desert under a hot blistering sun. I was thirsty down to my toenails and stopped to rest me on a stump. But I tell you, I just couldn't believe it when I saw that water pump. I took it to be a mirage first. It'll fool a thirsty man. Then I saw a note stuck in a baking powder can. Well, this pump is old, the note began, but she worked, so give her a try. I put a new sucking washer in there and... You might find the leather dry. Now you've got to prime the pump. You must have faith and believe. You've got to give of yourself before you're worthy to receive. Drink all the water you can hold. Wash your face, cool your feet. Leave the bottle full for others. Thank you, kindly, desert pea. Yeah, you'll have to prime the pump, work that handle like there's a fire, and under that rock you'll find some water I left there in a bitters jar. Now there's just enough to prime it with, so don't you cheat and go drinking first. You just pour it in and pump like mad, and buddy, you'll quench your thirst. You've got to prime the pump, you must have faith and believe. You must give up yourself before you're worthy to receive. Drink all the water you can hold. Wash your face, cool your feet. Leave the bottle full for others. Thank you, kindly, desert pea. Well, I found that jar, and I tell you, nothing was ever prettier to my eyes. And I was tempted strong to drink it, because, well, that pump, it looked mighty dry. But the note went on, have faith, my friend, and there's water down below. You've got to give until you get, and I'm the one who ought to know. So I poured in that jar, and I started the pump, and I heard a beautiful sound of water bubbling up and splashing up out of that hole in the ground. Well, I took off my shoes, and I drank my fill, and of that cool refreshing treat and, and I thank the Lord and I thank the pump and well I thank the old desert peat. You must 
prime the pump you have to have faith and believe you've got to give of yourself for you're worthy to receive drink all the water you can hold wash your face cool your feet leave the bottle full for others thank you god me desert pee drink all the Water you can hold, wash your face, cool your feet, leave the bottle full for others. Thank you kindly, desert Pete. Alrighty, let's see. I might have time for one more. Let me see if I can't find just one more. Okay, okay. Alright, how about the gambler? On a warm summer sea, on a train bound for nowhere, I met up with the gambler. We were both too tired to sleep, so we took turns a staring out the window at the darkness. The boredom overtook us, and he began to see. Speak, he said, son, I've made a life. Out of reading people's faces, knowing what the cards were, by the way they held their eyes. So if you don't mind me saying, I can see you're out of aces. For a taste of your whiskey, I'll give you some advice. So I handed him a bottle. And he drank down my last swallow. Then he bummed a cigarette and asked me for a light. And the night got deathly quiet. And his face lost all expression. He said, if you're going to play the game, boy, you got to learn to play it right. You've got to know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. No when to walk away, and no when to run. You never count your money. When you're sitting at the table, there'll be time enough for counting when the dealing's done. Well, every gambler knows that the secret to surviving is knowing what to throw away and knowing what to keep. Cause every hand's a winner, and every hand's a loser, and the best thing you can hope for is to die in your sleep. And when he finished speaking, he turned back to the window, crashed out his cigarette, and faded off to sleep, and somewhere in the darkness, the gambler, he broke even. But in his final words, I found an ace that I could keep. You've got to know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Know when to walk away. And know when to run. You never count your money. When you're sitting at the table, there'll be time enough for counting. When the dealing's done, you've got to know when to hold them. When to hold them, know when to fold them. When to fold them, know when to walk away. And then know when to run. And you never count your money. When you're sitting at the table, there'll be time enough for counting. When the dealing's done. You've got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when to walk away, and know when to run. And you never count your money when you're sitting at the table. There'll be time enough for counting when the dealing's done. All right. I think that's about it. Mm, one more? How about that song that a friend of mine named Steve Goodman wrote? How about that one? 
think we can handle it? I think we could. Give it a shot. Um, let's see what's it called. Song lyrics, the perfect country and western song. Yeah, how about you never call me by my name? Well, it was all that I could do to keep from crying. Sometimes it seems so useless to remain. But you don't have to call me darling, darling. You never even call me by my name. You don't have to call me Will and Jenny. And you don't have to call me Charlie Pride. You don't have to call me Merle Haggard anymore. Even though you're on my fight inside. And I'll hang around as long as you will let me. And I never mind it standing in the rain. But you don't have to call me darling, darling. You never even call me by my name. Well, I've heard my name a few times in your phone book. Hello, hello, and I've seen it on the signs where I've played, but the only time I know that I'll hear David Allen Cole is when Jesus has his final judgment day, so I'll hang around as long as you will let me. And I never mind it standing in the rain, but you don't have to call me darling, darling. You never even call me by my name. Well, a friend of mine named Steve Goodman wrote that song, and he told me it was a perfect country and western song. Well, I wrote him back and a letter, and told him that it was not the perfect country and western song because he hadn't said a thing about mama, old trains, or trucks, or prison, or getting drunk. And well, he sat down and wrote another verse to the song, and he sent it to me, and after reading it, I realized that my friend had written the perfect country and western song. And I felt obliged to include it on this here album, and so the last verse goes like this here. Well, I was drunk the day my mama got out of prison. And I went to pick her up in the rain. But before I could get to the station in my pickup truck, she got ran over by a darned old train, and I'll hang around as long as you will let me. And I never mind it standing in the rain. No, but you don't have to call me darling, darling. You never even call me. Well, I wonder why you never call me. Why don't you ever call me by my name? All right, that ought to do it. Looks like it's about time for us to do our portion of the program called Our Daily Bread. And today's devotion is called Dangerous Distractions. And well, today... Of all days, dangerous distractions comes in pretty handy because, well, hey, there's a lot of snow out there on the road, and there's a lot of dangerous distractions going on on the sidelines. There's cars in the ditch here and cars in the ditch over there. These things are dangerous. Also, there's a median to run in through that little line right down the middle of the road that's keeping one tire on one side and one tire on the other side. If you hit that little thing in the middle, 
Why, it's going to slip you right off the road because it's kind of frozen right there. And it's not the best thing to hit. So keep your mind on the road and keep your eyes on where you're going. And keep your eyes on the prize. Don't be distracted. Anyway, um, I'm going to be reading John 13, 31 through 35. And if you're keeping up with your book, uh, your book, your Bible, in a year, and trying to keep up with it, you will be reading Ezekiel 1 through 2, and Hebrews 11, 1 through 19. So, without further ado, here is John 13, 31 through 35, for you. Jesus predicts Peter's denial. When he was gone, Jesus said, now, the Son of Man is glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will glorify the Son in himself, and will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little longer, and you will look for me. And just as I told the Jews, so I tell you now. Where I am going, you cannot come. A new command I give you. Love one another as I have loved you. So must love, so you must love one another. By this everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. That did not exactly say Jesus predicts Peter's denial. It was too short for that, wasn't it? it? sure was. Didn't give us enough to get into the Peter predicting the denial. Or Peter's denial. But that's okay. That's where the devotion has left us off. You want to learn more? You want to find out what Peter's denial is? Read further in your Bible. John... 13. Okie dokie, that's it for me tonight, and I'm going to have to say, well, goodbye, my friends, it's a time to go. I said goodbye, my friends, it's time to go. I hate to leave you, but I really must go. So goodbye, my friends, goodbye. This here's Ben Shenandoah Briscoe saying, Hello, and how are you? And as always, you know, God loves you, and so do I. So be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. And come back and see me tomorrow because, well, I'll be here, and I hope you are too.